Perhaps the idea of dying sounds a little strange to people in the West. How can we turn this subject into something uplifting? Something that inspires us to pursue greater things and to become better versions of ourselves? Well, that is what I want to talk about today. How contemplating your own temporary nature while going through this physical journey can actually inspire you to make your dreams come true while you still can in this current incarnation. I know it inspires me to try and do better at least, instead of just being pessimistic or hopeless like so many people are. I sometimes meditate with death on my mind before I fall asleep, and I ask myself, if I were to die right now, what would that mean? And I analyze it and I know, it will mean I leave hundreds of videos behind that might help people out, whether I am here or not, so that is good. Had I not done it and I die the only thing I leave behind is friends or family, well that is fine too, I suppose, unless I had a dream and I was too scared of acting on it, then it's bad. Well what could also happen is if I leave right now and I've been a total jerk non-stop to everyone, then I simply leave the world and people think, good riddance, that he's gone. As you can tell, the perspective on this subject is not in the usual manner. I'm not talking about death as some tragic event. We all know if we lose someone in that way we might feel sad. After all, they are no longer with us physically speaking. But in this case I'm talking about us, the ones that are still here as you're listening to this video. Your time is limited, that much we do know, but we hardly ever consider it deeply to figure out what that actually means. To me it means that since time is limited I should make sure I'm doing the things I love to do, otherwise my whole life seems to have been a waste. Yet how many people do we find saying they cannot do what they love to do? They have to do stuff they don't enjoy since that's just life to them. It is true we might be temporarily stuck in a job or place we don't particularly enjoy, but we always have the power to outgrow our circumstances and achieve greater things. This is only possible, however, if we understand the nature of our own consciousness and what it is capable of doing. You can ask yourself this fascinating question. If I were to pass away right now, have I actually been pursuing what I'm passionate about? Even if you were only able to act on your dream for a little while, have you still been pursuing with a heart full of passion? Then any second of your life from that attitude will feel valuable and no longer worthless. When life becomes mundane and we are stuck in a rut, it's easy to lose motivation and hope for a better future. But once life is being approached with the attitude of knowing, I am here to express my passion, that is why God put me on the planet then life can become an interesting journey all the way up until you physically pass away. I asked before I went to sleep to God, how come it seems so difficult to discover our real selves? We tend to be so tight, so zoomed in on this world, yet it's not the only thing to us. Well, the universe replied and said, that is because of your belief that you're a physical human. It is so ingrained that even if you know you're not your body, you still won't have any proof on the matter unless you learn to alter that belief and remove it entirely. Usually it happens gradually. So I said, okay, so there must be a way for me to experience it more and more often than over time if I let go. And the reply was, if you do that, you will understand this world to be a rather funny place and how people behave, since nothing can even touch you. But your identification with your body is the problem. However, it is needed to function properly. If you never identified with your body as a baby, you wouldn't be able to function, but now as an adult you have to rediscover this truth to truly enjoy life. To me these are all fascinating insights on how to overcome the normal limitations haunting our minds. People don't want to consider their own death and the limited time they truly have. Rather we like to act as if we will live forever, physically speaking, but we won't. Of course we tend to do this in order to feel better, more optimistic, because the idea of death sounds depressing and sad and even scary to many. But in reality death is nothing but a transition. Right now you're living from physical body awareness and when you die you transition into non-physical awareness. Your dreams at night have already hinted at this to be the case. Really think about it for yourself. If you're only here for a little while, let's say a few decades, in the greater scheme of things life is very short but those decades we tend to live on this planet are more often than not filled with all kinds of limiting beliefs, worries and fears. We can overcome all of those by clearly understanding that since our time is limited we should make the most of it and no longer waste energy and time on things that don't serve us. 
Everything that helps to express your passion just a little bit more will make life more enjoyable. Everything that takes away from our passion even for a little bit should be removed from our lives in order to improve it. I think that is a great way to start out this upcoming year of 2022. I hope you will consider it for yourself. Now if you're new to this channel consider subscribing to receive inspirational videos on a regular basis. And with that being said, dear viewer, never forget that we are the dreamers.